All right, y'all, sister, season seven, episode two. Let's get into this recap. All right, y'all, so we're going to pick up right where we left off, and that is with Penelope, AJ, Andy Jr. walking in the bathroom, catching Gary doing some things to himself to Andy's panties. So she is like, hold up, hold up, what's going on with the goings on? What are you doing? And he was like, you need to chill. It's not what it look like. And she was like, you jacking off to your ex's panties? And he was like, keep your voice down and she was like so you still obsessed with Andy and he was like I was looking at you doing dinner and I got horny and she was like oh so you think I'm a fool and he was like you overreacting so she walks out of the bathroom and she goes to Andy and Jordan and tells them that her and Gary gotta leave because she not feeling good so Gary comes out of the bathroom after he zipped his pants back up and take his hand the same hand that he was just pleasuring himself with and wipes it on Jordan shirt and gonna say oh we gotta go she's sick it must have been andy's food but you guys have my undivided support he is such a shady queen so then y'all as they leave and they get on the elevator and he looks at penelope and he's like I don't know why you rushing up out of here like you got the keys. So she like shut up and he was like, who the f*** you talking to? And she was like, I'm talking to you. I can't believe I gave you another chance. You got to be sick to be jagging off to your ex's dirty panties while your fiance is in the next room. And he was like, men do strange things to get themselves off. You just need to get over it. This is your fault anyway. I've been trying to sleep with you for a week now and you keep giving me this same excuse about you having a head headache and you not feeling good so you know what i need to think about all this you have a good night at my house by yourself and he got off of the elevator and she gonna sit there and scream girl baby the elevator door would have opened and gary would have been on the flow penelope i'm gonna need you to get some balls sis so after Gary and AJ had left, Jordan and Andy in a crib and Jordan was trying to get it in with Andy. Now we all know that Andy is usually down with the get down, but for some reason she is not. She distracted by this dirty kitchen talking about she need to clean the kitchen because she can't stand a dirty kitchen. And he was like, girl, don't worry about the kitchen. I'm going to clean the kitchen. You just go get naked. And she was like, okay, cool. Child, she did not want to have sex with him because Gary just left her house and that's what she thinking about now. Mm -hmm. She don't really want to be with Jordan. The kids are awkward there is no chemistry i do not like this jordan give us a new jordan if y'all was gonna give us a new jordan it should have been a better jordan it's just not giving what it's supposed to give <laughs> So now we head over to the hood, Danny's apartment, and Sabrina is there to talk to her about these nightmares that she's been having, and Sabrina got a theory. She think that Danny is having nightmares because of Preston, and Danny said, oh, no, 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 because see, since Preston left, she has been happy, consistent, stable, ain't no wishy-washy, ain't nobody telling her that they love her, but then leaving her. She having a blast. Girl, it didn't seem like it. It seemed very bitter. So Sabrina like, well, it might be your subconscious. Like, you still got pain from the situation. And she say, no, she is good. And she wants Sabrina to leave. Girl, we know you missed that cowboy. But he gone. Sis, he is married. A married man. Get over it. The sassy sisters are reunited. Gary has popped up to Hayden's house because he needs someone to stay for the night. He said that Hayden owes him a favor for the Samira thing, so it should be cool. So Hayden like, okay, come in. What's going on with the going on? And sister Gary was like, you know, Penelope mad at me for something I said. Ain't no big deal. So now he wants to get drunk. He wants to get lit. And Hayden like, look, I got to work in the morning. I got a meeting. And Gary like, boy, just have one drink with me. You know, these females stressing me out. And Hayden was like, but you finna get married. And sister Gary was like, boy, you know I ain't never getting married. I gave her that ring to buy some time. So Sister Hayden was like, ooh, cold world. So then Gary, mm -hmm, he starts talking and he was like, you know that dude Jordan Williams. And Sister Hayden was like, yeah, I know him. He finna run for city council. And Gary was like, yeah, well me and you gonna ruin him together. And Hayden was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know him. So unless he stole my money or my bitch, count me out. I said, oh, look at Hayden standing on business. So the next day comes about, right? And our good sis Andy is at work minding her business, getting to the coin. And here come Hayden with the whole tea kettle. And he like, good morning to you. And she was like, I only say hi to people that I like. And he was like, well, I see you having a new man. Ain't changed your attitude. And she was like, how do you know I got a new man? Oh, let me guess. Gary must have told you. I know I live rent-free in y'all head. And he was like, girl, don't flatter yourself. Ain't nobody thinking about you. But speaking of Gary, 
scary. What's going on with him and his girl? Because they beef it. He stayed the night at my house. And now Andy like, oh, what you mean? What happened? They had dinner at my house and they seemed fine. So what's going on with the goings on? And Hayden was like, he didn't say. He was just calling her that B-I-T-C-H's. And Andy was like, oh, I knew he was faking it. And he was like, yeah, but I need to get him up at my house. He had me up all night drinking, talking about girls like we BFFs. And Andy was like, well, I thought y'all was good sisters. And he was like, no, we not. I don't even know what he do for a living. And Andy was like, duh, he do hedge funds. And Hayden was like, oh, he still do that? I don't know. He got to be into some other stuff because he seemed a little off. Like he always plotting and planning. And before Hayden can get into the TEE, Fatima walked in ready to fight y'all. I mean, Sister Hayden was in there running his mouth like somebody's baby mama. Imagine if Gary would have told him how he roughed up Penelope on that elevator. Mm hmm now we head over to the Taylor household where my baby daddy is cooking all of Fatima's favorites for breakfast. So we know what that means. It's going to be some BS. And he wants to talk to her about opening a trust fund for his son and his maybe baby, Zach Jr. And this instantly makes Fatima mad. And she like, you already named him. Don't you think it's a little too early to start a trust fund for a baby that's not here? And he was like, no, people do it all the time. And she was like, baby, get your ducks in a row because you got too much going on. And he was like, well, you was just fine when I was talking about baby Michael. And she was like, well, I changed my mind. We got a meeting with Andy, so you need to be there. And he forgot about the meeting, but you better believe he going to be at that meeting. Miss <laughs> Dua herself, Karen, is at the salon on a ladder trying to hang pictures. And Pam is like, why are you doing that? You shouldn't be doing that. But we know Karen don't want no help, don't need no help, ain't going to take no help. And Pam is running up the company credit card balance stuff that they don't need and she don't know that Karen is in debt so Karen had called Sabrina to see if Sabrina can get her a personal loan through the bank and Sabrina was like you just got a loan for the salon but I see what I can do and Karen said that she needs to pay her bills and her funds is running low so it's looking like she shouldn't have ripped up that check from Zach speaking of my baby daddy he has made it to the meeting with Andy and Fatima and they were just going over the case, making sure they had everything that they needed. And Zach was like, yeah, I got all the evidence. I'm certain that we can win this thing. So Andy was like, okay, cool. When is the date? So they was like, what date? And she was like, the wedding date. And Zach looked at Fatima like, when? And she was like, you know what, Zach? We can talk about this later. Yeah, let us know because I need my invite. Why you don't want to marry my man, sis? Y'all, now we at the airport with it and Danny is at work. So we know Tony is there too. And she's with a client and he walks over to get some work supplies. So while he looking for these work supplies, he gets hungry and he is on his knees. And Danny knees is buckling. So the client walks away and he was like, you know, I just wanted a taste. And Danny wants to talk about last night. And I'm like, girl, after what he just did, you want to talk about last night? Mm -hmm, must not have been that good. So she was telling him that he ambushed her with Sabrina and that that did not work. And he was like, oh, you so stubborn. Meet me in my office in 15 minutes so I can get that stubbornness out of you. Now, Tony, that was corny as hell. Now, you just, you know what? Let's move on. After Jordan was fed... Danny had called Karen to invite her to the brunch, but she said she ain't want to go to the brunch because she ain't want to sit and watch them drink and she can't drink. So Danny was like, okay, cool. Don't say I didn't invite you. So we head over to brunch and all the other girls are there, minus Karen. And they was talking about Jordan and Gary and they sex, right? And they want to know, is Gary bigger than Jordan? And Andy was like, look, Gary cannot compare to Jordan like he making me a sex addict. Mm. Now, Karen shows up. Didn't nobody see her, but she seen them and she left, right? Mm -hmm. So, Danny said that her and Tony is good, but he keep on harassing her about therapy. And Sabrina is like, yeah, she needs to go. She been having these dreams. And Danny was like, I'm not trying to be on no white man couch telling him everything that's going on with me. So Fatima was like, well, I got a therapist and she cool. So Danny agreed to go see Fatima's therapist. Okay, whatever. So... Sabrina started talking about marriage and kids and this then the third and Fatima was like yeah I want two of my own but I got to deal with two that's not mine right now and Danny was like well it might not be Zach's and Fatima was like you don't think it's Zach's either and Andy was like um what baby are we talking about and Fatima was like Zach Jr and they was like Zach Jr and everybody started laughing and Fatima was like yeah I'm supposed to have a junior but he gonna ask Karen can he name the baby that today Mm-hmm. 
And Danny was like, well, ain't nothing wrong with getting a DNA test. And Fatima was like, yeah, especially since he want to open up a trust. Chow, if these is friends, chow, I don't need enemies. <laughs> Baby, after this brunch, all the girls are drunk and heading home. So Danny gets home and she tells Tony that she is going to try therapy. And he's so proud of her, he got to show her. So he takes her to the bedroom so they can get it in. Now, Sabrina makes it home to Rich and she ruined the mood. He ready to get it in. She starts talking about how many kids he want. And he like, I don't want no kids. So she like, you just going to have a wife? And he like, I don't believe in marriage. I've been there, done that. Don't want to do it again. So she was like, well, I could change your mind. And he was like, no, nah, I got my mind made up. I just want a solid relationship. And she was like, well, I just need your sperm. Let's go practice. And she went to the bedroom. He went to the door. Child, he left. Now, Andy gets home and she wants to get it in with Jordan and Jordan trying to cook and she like I already ate I just need dessert so he wants to tell her about his accomplishments and how he got an endorsement from the mayor and the PR team and he want her to go to meetings with him and she is not listening she is trying to get busy okay so Fatima home and she is the only one that is mad and my baby daddy trying to kiss her and she ain't trying to kiss him and he like, girl, what's going on with the goings on? What's on your mind? And she was like, uh, don't you think you're doing too much? I think you need to get a DNA test for Karen. And he was like, oh, those girls got in your ear. It's my baby. I know this hard for you because I'm having a baby. And she was like, no, it's hard for me because you don't know if it's yours and you want to do all this stuff. And he was like, you can't go to a brunch with these girls no more because they filling your head up. And she was like, boy, you better ask the last nigga who tried to control me. Fatima, stop threatening my man, sis. <laughs> Grimy Gary strikes again. He in his office on the phone with some chick talking about flying her out, right? And this dude walk in and he like, Gary, we got a problem. Clients are pulling their money. It's over. And Gary like, what? And he like, we effed up. They saying this a Ponzi scheme. It's a scam. And Gary, like, we can't get caught, start strand stuff, get rid of everything. And the dude was like, I already started. And then Hayden calls. And he like, um, why is the FBI at my crib looking for you? And it went off. But anyway, y'all, that was that on that. I will be back next week to do a recap to episode three. So come back for that. In the meantime, between time, watch the videos for my other shows. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's have a conversation down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. I will link them down in the description. And yeah, it's your girl, Cinea Renee, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.